2018 Maserati Ghibli. This is the three litre diesel. Um, some people might call that blasphemy, putting a diesel engine in a Maserati, but I would suggest you drive one because this thing drives spectacular. Three litre um, turbo V6, Maserati Lux. Um, and the engine was developed between Ferrari and a, and a couple other people. So quite an interesting thing. It's worth having a read up on it. Start on the bodywork. If we start on this front corner, you see there is a very small scuff just here on that leading edge of the arch. Um, but if we look down the side of the car, you'll see the rest of it. It's all nice and clean. It is a flat white. It's not a pearl white or anything like that. This arch itself is lovely and clean all the way around. You've got these massive, what size are they? 19 inch sort of dark gray um, alloys. It's got P zeros all around on it as well. Um, we'll go down this driver's side. These little bit vents here. There's no sort of marks or anything around here. It's about as new a car as we get in here, so it's, it'll be nice to see versus something at 60 year old, but all clean on that sill. Driver's door, lovely and clean all the way down. All this chrome's nice. It's keyless on the entry and things like that. Um, with these rather fancy looking large Maserati keys. It's a keyless start and all that. Tinted windows all around. And then you do have this contrasting black roof, which is really nice. It's a big car to be fair as well. Really big car. Nice and clean all the way down here. This arch again, all lovely and tidy. There's nothing sort of on these corners or anything like that. So you've done 20,000 miles or something like that. I think even maybe possibly less. We'll double check in a second. Another good wheel and tire. Up onto this pillar and on the roof, all nice and clean. Come around on the back. Bumper corners on both sides are good. There's no sign of any marks. You've got these four massive tailpipes. Again, they're nice and clean and tidy. Got a very small scratch in the plastic just here. Around the rear, the rest of it is all nice and clean. Coming around on the passenger side again, we'll look down that side, you can see. Lovely and straight all the way down. Very small mark, which actually just looks like it would clean off, to be fair, just on that corner there. Um, and again, another good wheel and tyre. Coming down this side, all nice and clean. Like I say, a nice new car, there's not really a lot to point out or, or whinge about both. Wing mirror covers are nice and clean, gloss black to match the roof. Another good wheel and tyre. If we look on the front, on the bonnet and things, you'll see there's no sign of any stone chips or anything like that. Same with this front bumper, all nice and clean all the way along. You've got your parking sensors and a few of the gizmos in there. It's got the uh, the upgraded lights in this one as well. If you check the description, we'll uh, we'll go through the full spec, but it's it is a nice spec thing, but it's exactly what you'd expect from a Maserati. Things like your puddle light with Maserati logos on it. And if you're gonna have a white one, it's gonna have to have red interior really, isn't it? Seats are absolutely gorgeous, really comfy. Maserati logo on the headrest because of course, all the trim cover down here, which is normally black on a lesser car, we'll say is all this beautiful red electric adjustment. It's got air bolsters and all that sort of stuff. Really, really nice. Minimal wear. We'll uh, hit that button and have a look at the uh, 23,864 miles. The rear here again, actually surprising, there's a lot of room in the back here. It's got this lovely sort of dark burnt brown wood. Uh, and then these sort of leather accents on the on the doors, which is nice. Rear bench doesn't look like it's been used at all. Lovely and clean. You've got your isofix points on both sides. Nice big armrest with what we've got in here. Cup holders and a and a bit of storage. Just nice with these, all these chrome trim. Backs of the seats and the and the, met, the the nets and everything are all good. You've got this black Alcantara headlining. Really lovely. It's not really anything to point out because it's pretty much a new car, isn't it? Um, and then in this boot, which is massive, you definitely get your golf clubs in there or whatever else you want to put in. A couple of bodies or something like that. And they're all nice and tidy. The carpets are staying free. And this side, nice and clean. There's not really anything to point out. It makes for a boring video, but it does make for a nice car. And then the front passenger side, same thing. You've got your puddle lights. Well, it's very bright in here today, but if we have a look there, you'll see Maserati on the floor, in case you forget what you're getting into. This front passenger seat, lovely and tidy. And you've got this large wood piece in the console, which is lovely. Big sat nav unit. It's got nav, uh, does your um, audio, your climate, all that sort of stuff. We've got all these storage compartments, aux lead and USB in cup holders, all that kind of stuff. Have a look on the engine bay. Like I say, if you check the description, we'll detail sort of service spec, all that sort of stuff. All nice and clean in here. No sign of any corrosion. It could do with a good wipe down. 
Um, but yeah, it is, you know, it's, a, it's a modern car that's been in daily use. Exactly what you'd expect. So we'll get that started up there. There's the auto lights and everything. Super quiet, super silent. Exactly what you'd expect. There's no sign of any sort of smoke or anything coming out the back. It was driven to us. Like I say, I've driven it down the road just purely because I've never driven one before. And you perks of the job, you're going to take it when it comes. It does have a rear, rear parking camera as well. So there you have it. 2018 three litre diesel turbo Maserati Ghibli. If you've got any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.